Inquisitors who are not Marcos supporters but have a relative inside the libingan ng mga bayani are having a hard time getting in. The army is implementing stringent security measures since the surprise burial of former President Marcos on Friday afternoon. Cars of visitors are barred from getting inside. They must instead take the service vehicle provided by the cemetery. Now, some uh, visitors vented their anger on the security personnel at the gate, saying it causes them inconvenience and discomfort. One of them is a disabled woman and can't even walk. She just decided to go home as she could only move by using a wheelchair. Ngayon po, ma'am, temporary kuhan mo na tayo. Pero sa sunod na siguro nito, nagkataon tayo sa ano. Oh, yes, ma'am. Ngayon, ma'am, may electronic vehicle kami dyan po. Pwede na kayo isa kayo dyan. Susunduin tayo dito po para ihatid kayo doon. Nandoon po yung kuha natin. Nakabantay po. Marcos loyalists, meanwhile, must have a commemorative sticker to get in. Their names are also being vetted in the family's guest list. They're also being asked on which Marcos support group they came from. The army is appealing to the public for some understanding as the security situation remains delicate. This comes after anti-Marcos protesters are threatening to occupy the cemetery or exhume the remains of the former president. Now, at least 800 loyalists paid respect to their mahal na apo lakay. They're all wearing Salamat Apo t-shirts and they came all the way from Ilocos Norte. Former First Lady Imelda and former Senator Bongbong were also there. However, they didn't face the media.